You'll need sturdy walking shoes for the hills and steps of St. John's and its historic harbor. We have about 500 years of history and culture and tradition. So it's quite old in, in terms of its tradition and its makeup. Um, but the water was, was key, it was all important, and, and it was the heart of why we were here. A tradition started by early settlers has left its mark on this city's colorful architecture, like Elaine Han's grand old home. The wind blew the paint off the house last year, so you have to paint it again this year. So really it's painted with whatever they had at the time. So what you had then was a hodgepodge of color that was actually part of the charm of the city. Along St. John's Grand Concourse are trails that lead through many of its heritage buildings, churches, and cathedrals. Some trails lead to Signal Hill. You don't want to be too faint of heart, but this, uh, this trail here is called the North Head Trail, and it actually begins at the base of the hill and will come right around the face, and there will be a series of steps that will take you right back up to the top of the hill and to Cabot Tower. And from there you can see Fort Amherst, and Newfoundland's first lighthouse, which has guarded the Narrows for two centuries. Another lighthouse at Cape Spear, the most easterly point of land in North America, has been guiding mariners in and out of St. John's Harbor for more than 160 years. If the soul of Newfoundland is in its people, then the spirit is in George Street. Well, George Street is known um, because it's a, it's a very small street, but it has the uh, largest number of bars per capita than anywhere else in North America. You can have um, a drink in, in a pub where you, you will hear traditional Newfoundland live entertainment, and you can go and have a scuff and a good time. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.